And we are back with another episode of Before You Buy, that show where we give you some straight up gameplay and our first impressions of the latest games releasing. You probably know that by now. As usual, it's me, Jake, and we're talking about Days Gone again today. This is an official PC release, and it's available on Steam and Epic for 50 bucks. Uh, like many other PlayStation first party exclusives, we've seen a few games like this transition from PS4 to PC, uh, Death Stranding and Horizon Zero Dawn. So like we did with those, we figured we'd take a quick jump in here. We talk about the PC version and just kind of talk a little bit more about the game. And of course, show you a bunch of pretty gameplay here so you know what you'd potentially be jumping into now if you can't already tell it's it's looking really good i mean look at it uh shout out to our very own andrew for capturing some ultra wide footage here uh this is thanks to obviously the native widescreen support which so far has been pretty darn smooth with no issues at all it's just like a boom turn it on type thing uh this is a game that absolutely benefits from a good ultra wide monitor with some added options and like fov and stuff it just makes it all even better i mean look at it Th this game and the environments the kind of uh, northwest type style and and the way the game is framed just really lends itself to this much bigger viewing angle but even if you can't take advantage of this option still it looks damn good uh, what also helps give the game a major upgrade is just all the extra power that comes from your pc uh, you know higher frame rates added detail more resources allowing clearer and more realistic lighting uh, some better draw distances especially with uh, the foliage in particular and the way they move uh, straight up I think it looks very, very nice running here on PC. It, it, it already looked great, a, a game that looked really good. From cool weather effects and some impressive day and night cycle stuff, great looking sunrises and sunsets and some shockingly good details on the main characters, now it's all just heightened and rock solid. You have a decent suite of graphical options, uh, controlling motion blur, fog and atmospheric effects, geometry detail, quality of shadows and lighting, texture filtering. It's got a decent amount of choices and options here, uh, along with standard display options for resolutions, high refresh rates, V-Sync, stuff like that. Our experiences here on two different machines have been good. And so far, even though it's early, it seems like most people aren't reporting massive problems. Problems. And, and we haven't had any weird technical issues pop up yet. It is inevitable, though. It is a, a launch of a PC game, so uh, some people are going to have issues. But from our experience and from looking at the community, it does seem so far that this port is stronger than Horizon Zero Dawn when it launched. So that's definitely something to keep in mind just because we've seen disaster PC ports before. So far, it seems like this isn't the case here. Now, when you get this, you're also getting all the Days Gone stuff that was added since the game was released. It's not too much, but it's nice to have. You get bike skins, uh, the soon after launch added New Game Plus mode, which goes really great with this style of gameplay, and challenge mode. It's like a thing you access from the main menu that gives you a fun little challenge experiences you can load up with specific goals and things you need to accomplish in more of a competitive beat your score type of thing. But the meat of this whole product, the main game itself, is definitely worth experiencing. I'm excited that PC players have a chance to experience this one. If you are on PC, why should you play this? Well, for me personally, it's the story, the characters, and the motorcycle gameplay. Now, I'll be completely honest with you guys. I'm not gonna lie to you or anything. I was pretty tough on the other elements of the game when I did our Before You Buy video for the PS4 version a few years back. I thought it was a very good but flawed game. I, I said I liked the story and characters and the biker elements, but found the open world type of typical sneak in the camp, mark your enemies, and kill dude stealth gameplay really tired and, and like a bit dull. I still think that's kind of the case, but thankfully it's only a part of the whole picture. The third person shooting mechanics are totally better here if you're playing on a mouse and keyboard. I wasn't a fan of the way the shooting felt on a controller, but I mean, well, obviously to PC players, this is like a no brainer, but still uh, it's, it's better here. And the control choice is just much nicer. It positively affected my enjoyment of the game. I still prefer the zombie combat versus the human encounters though. Uh, the Freakers concept is a creative spin on zombies where they're crazier, a tiny bit more intelligent, and there are just some good enemy types and stuff. Finding and flushing out their nests 
is a ton of fun, which again is another cool concept if you think about it. Like zombie type creatures that create nests in the environment out of like their poop and stuff. Ooh, that's gross. Hell yeah. Uh, anyways, uh, you flush them out throughout the environments among many other things to keep you busy, like uh, dealing with the roving massive hordes of freakers. There are some that are story triggered and some big hordes that are just out there in the open world. And taking these packs out can be an absolute blast. You know, when you're using the most of your tools, you're crafting stuff on the fly, you're using every bullet, you're using every explosive, every Molotov to thin the impressively massive herd. It's one of the more unique aspects of the game and it's just worth seeing. And it's really worth seeing at a super high resolution and a very high frame rate if you have the capabilities. I mean, goddamn. Now, I think I said this then and I'll say it again here. Days Gone gets better the more you put into it. I don't think it makes the greatest first impression, but the deeper into the game, the more enemy types you're facing off with, the more much better weapons you have available, the greater challenge, and of course, the story gets more and more interesting. Uh, first of all, Deacon St. John is a really really cool and I think now iconic character portrayed very well by a uh, veteran voice actor uh, in games and movies Sam Witwer who portrays him as this sort of like person with these weird twitches and quirks and frustrations but it, it hides it, like a much more interesting rebellious good guy character going back and playing this game again after blasting through it back when it first released on ps4 he's the thing i, I specifically remember the most deke is really cool the supporting cast too is is pretty good most notably boozer is fairly strong and now all of these characters, uh, you can see their pores thanks to the magic of PC graphics technology. Uh, all of these characters help keep a story really interesting. It aggressively makes you want to keep playing just to see what happens. Even though the game wants you to do open world stuff, I just kept wanting to see the next part of this mystery. There is some good progression and a decent skill tree and the game's economy of collecting bounties and stuff and upgrading your bike is a ton of fun, of course, but you might really find yourself just playing through to see what happens next. Even still though, in between those story beats, uh, there are some good things worth experiencing, a, a good sense of dread, uh, some really good gore, some really nice biome change-ups and a cold weather environment, and of course, tearing through it all on your bike, which is something that I definitely prefer using a controller to steer, but it, it doesn't really matter either way here. It's just as fun as it was the year the game released. Tearing through the environments, boosting, jumping, sliding, and shooting just feel absolutely great and do a really good balance of like being fun and accessible and fast and not like super overly realistic, but just enough to make it feel tangible and a bit real, like having to actually upkeep your bike and give it gas. The whole bike thing is one of the more special, unique aspects of the game and it really stands out. Upgrading it is really satisfying too. Every upgrade or addition feels meaningful and useful. Plus, uh, you know, again, the bike just looks cooler and cooler the, the more the game goes on. Like I said, Days Gone is just a satisfying game that is worth checking out on PC, especially if you've never played it. And it's 50 bucks, so it's not quite full priced, which I guess is a nice bonus. As much as I was initially tough on Days Gone for not doing like a ton of brand new and unique stuff, it doesn't make a difference if the game itself still manages to be fun and interesting. Yes, at the time it released when we had a sea of other games like this where you were dropped in a massive, big, gorgeous map and there were just outposts to take out and men to sneak up behind and press the stealth kill button. We still have tons of that, but now looking back, I think the story specifically and the motorcycle gameplay really outweighs some of that stuff that I found a little bit more boring. Ultimately, it's still worth experiencing, and you know, with the recent news of it maybe not ever having a sequel, who knows, it is a shame because I'd like to see more of this type of Days Gone thing explored, whether it's the story elements, the world, or just some of the gameplay mechanics like the bike and, and the biker culture stuff. Anyway, long story short, what I'm trying to say is that Days Gone is a good video game adventure time, and now you can play it on PC. And from what we've seen, it seems like it's running pretty decently. But of course, this is a before you buy. We give you some pros, some cons, and some personal opinion, and now we wanna hear yours down in the comments. What do you think of Days Gone? Did you play the PS4 version? Uh, what do you think about it now, years later? Also, if you're jumping in for the first time on PC, 
what excites you the most have you jumped in so far what do you think we want to hear any of your thoughts about this game and maybe even your idea for a sequel down in the comments but if you enjoyed this video and maybe it helped you out and we helped steer you in the right direction clicking the like button is the best way you can help us out we would really appreciate that and if you're new consider subscribing maybe hitting that notification bell because we put out videos every single day but hey as always thanks for watching we'll see you guys next time how you doing little sister this little, this little kid, this, this goddamn little kid. Big goddamn life. Hey, help me. Come on. Mm. Oh, oh, shit.